name is George Mutuo and I'm 21 years old. I used to live in the streets. I had gone for several days without eating, so I decided to steal in order to get something to eat. I was caught. I was sent to the police station where I was charged with stealing. I was 17 years old and I was sent to Boston for three years. My name is Patricia Mwicha. I'm the founder of Tunza Project. Tunza Project does many things in the young offender prison. I'm beginning to because I felt God is calling me to offer my service to these young boys. I lived in Shima Bosto in Aunt Caps. I was so afraid. I cried when I left there. Our next boy is George Mutua. Mutua was charged with the stealing contrary to section 275 of the penal code. We spent a lot of time locked up. From 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we were locked up and uh, 8 a.m. the following day. Living in Boston was terrible, was tough. Like me, many of the boys who were there were there because of property. They want clothes, they want food, they want good shelter, but the parents are not able to offer all this. They end up in Boston because of stealing. They are stealing because they are hungry. They need something to eat. Their life is not easy there. They get traumatized. I started working with these boys because the risk of reoffending is a problem. Unless there is somebody to offer some guidance. When they are released, these boys will just go to the streets and back to crime. When I first met with Patricia, I thought maybe I was being transferred to another prison. One day there were visitors. To the project uh, has really agreed to sponsor George Mutua. I'm asking for the board decision. Do you agree that he should be released? When I met George, he was with a lot of tension and a lot of worries. I was released with the license. I told Patricia I was not I, I, I'm not going home. I thought that my community will mistrust me. They fear. They are marked as bad, bad people. And if anything wrong happens, they are the first accused. Patricia told me I would stay with her family. So she was able to convince me to go with her. I have a farmhouse where I can offer a place for them to call her home. I took George to the members of the community to introduce him. Patricia explained the community where I am and where I come from. The community made me feel much welcome. I asked him what he would like to do. He said I wanted to continue with my education. With Patricia, I was able to join a secondary school. His confidence has increased. He has really changed a lot. Currently, I'm studying for my final exam. This year, I want to score an A. If I pass my exams, I would like to go to university to study medicine. If I had not met Patricia, I don't know exactly where my life would have been. I'm able to give these young boys new hope. In Tunza Project, we want to help many children who are like George to achieve their educational dreams.